513 feet long, 147 feet wide. For its next job, Sapura 3500 has traveled to the South China Sea, 120 miles off the northeast coast of Malaysia, to work in a sprawling oil and gas field. The ship's crew has spent the last six days taking sections of pipe off a transport barge and welding them together to create a 5.5 mile long pipeline that they send off the stern of the ship to lay on the ocean floor. It's close to midnight, working 12 hour shifts around the clock the 150-person pipe-laying crew is ahead of schedule. The pressure is always on. We just can't get enough sleep to get everything completed. OK, Johnny. Offshore construction superintendent Mohammed Azwan Azizan has to make sure his crew stays on track. We have been laying the parts for about 200 joints a day. So we have been pushing to get a good progress. The pipeline is made up of more than 700 carbon steel sections, each 12 meters or 40 feet long. Each pipe takes an hour to move through 10 workstations. From station one, we will pull the pipe we have to weld the pipes, we have to perform the induction heating and then apply with the coating and then get it passed through the roller and go into the sea. At some stations, an automated welder joins the pipes together, working 10 times faster than a human hand and still meeting quality control. Joints are coated and encased in waterproof seals. We have to take care on the welding quality to ensure that we don't have any defect on each pipe joint. A leaky pipeline would be an environmental and financial disaster. Each joint and weld is x-rayed. I show you. And inspected. If there is being rejected, but you have to re-weld, to perform the repair. All right, thank you. That is a downtime to us. We don't want to see that. Only after a pipe joint passes inspection can it enter the water. 